Welcome back to the Who is the Best Player in the NBA series. In today's video, I'm going to be taking a little bit different of an approach, and instead of trying to make the case, I'm more so going to make the case against, just because this player is pretty much a consensus, one of the number one picks for the best player in the league. This player, of course, is Kevin Durant, and the reason I'm doing this is because I have been of the opinion for a while that Kevin Durant is a tad, and I do mean just a tad, but nonetheless, overrated. And I gotta say that watching NBA fans just come to the conclusion that Kevin Durant is the best player in the NBA after his previous postseason without really giving it any thought kind of has me scratching my head. I mean, I do get it to some extent because people have been fiending to give Kevin Durant the title of the best player in the league since his 2014 MVP season. So averaging 34 in the playoffs while LeBron flames out in the first round certainly is not bad fuel to add to that fire. But as someone who is more critical of Kevin Durant's game than his business decisions or personality or his Twitter account, mostly because I fucking love his Twitter account, I figured I'd give my reasons as to why Kevin Durant is not my pick for the best player in the league when he is pretty much the consensus top two at this point. Before I continue on this video, about half of the people that watch these videos are not subscribed, so if you've fallen to that 50%, then please subscribe. Also, drop a like on this video. It only takes one second and it makes a massive difference. So first things first, when we're talking about the best of the best of the best players in the league, in order to distinguish between them, you really have to start splitting hairs, and that's pretty much the entirety of what this video is going to be. Like, as I've mentioned, and this is what prompted this series in the first place, I think there are around eight or so players in the NBA right now with a genuine case for being the best player in the league. I really think the difference between who is number one and who is number eight is not that much. You might disagree with that assessment, but regardless, understand that that is the perspective I'm coming from here. So when I say I don't think Kevin Durant's the best player in the NBA, I mean he's like 5% off of being the best player in the NBA. The amount of talent right now is just so significant that that 5% is enough of a difference maker. There's a few reasons why I do not believe Kevin Durant is the best player in the NBA, really two main ones, and the first one is that Durant has not been as good post Achilles tear as so many people have suggested. Now the reason I say this has nothing to do with his offense. By all accounts, if anything, though it is a relatively small sample size, KD has been better offensively than previous to the injury. Only marginally, but still better. He shot 45% from three in the regular season, and he has the highest true shooting percentage in his career while matching his career point average and averaging a healthy dose of assists as well. But... His defense is not as good as it was. Now, that could partially be due to the team's culture. Defense is contagious, and with the right culture and the right mentality as the Golden State Warriors had, it can bring out good defense out of an otherwise not that great defender, and I think we saw that with Kevin Durant in Golden State. Now, whether it's that or the injury, Kevin Durant is not the great defender that he was in Golden State now. His defense was so good with the Warriors that there were defensive player of the year conversations with him. Mostly conversations started by Durant himself, but hey, it's not nothing. In Brooklyn, his defense is fine, but it's not the same as it was. That could be because he isn't trying as hard, because Brooklyn doesn't have the defensive culture that the Dubs had, but regardless of what it is, KD just is not as good defensively as he was. And sure, this is kind of splitting hairs, but as I mentioned earlier, if we're having a best player in the league conversation when there are this many candidates, I have to split hairs here. I'm not mad at Kevin Durant for not being as good defensively, but it is just the case. The defensive thing really came into play with the Nets versus Buck series in particular, where everyone and their mother claimed that Kevin Durant outplayed Giannis in that series, and I could not disagree more. KD averaged 3.5 more points, 2.3 less rebounds, and 1.8 more assists than Giannis in that series on the same efficiency from the field. Meanwhile, Giannis was fantastic as a defensive anchor in that series, as he pretty much always is, specifically in the later moments of games where he switched to center and the Bucks just dominated defensively. I can attest because I saw this live in game four when I went to it. The Bucks defense gets so good when Giannis is at the center position, it's actually insane. 
So from my point of view, essentially the same statistical production, a similar amount of points, rebounds, assists, while also being a fantastic defender, that's the player who had the better series in my opinion, and I don't think it's that crazy to think. I don't see how the consensus opinion after that series was that Kevin Durant was better. Now this could be a matter of the circumstances between the two teams. Based on the expectations, the Nets losing Kyrie and Harden for a majority of the series really made it an uphill battle, and the expectation became that the Bucks would destroy them, and then they, well, didn't. But circumstances don't define what the better performance is. The better performance is the better performance, even if one is more impressive in the given circumstances, who is better is who was better. It's as simple as that. I also think, and this is maybe something I'll make a, a video about, but it's also partially an aesthetic bias, I think. I think a large part of why Giannis is often so over-criticized and not given proper credit is because his game isn't typically aesthetically pleasing to the eye. Meanwhile, Durant has possibly the most aesthetically pleasing game in the history of basketball. But outside of making highlights, aesthetics do not matter, production and value do. And I think Giannis won that. Another factor in why I do not believe that Kevin Durant is the best player in the NBA is the construction of the Nets roster last year. And no, I do not mean the like stupid argument of his team's too good. He's not allowed to be the best in the league because no, the best player in the league is the best player in the league regardless of his roster. I mean that the Nets this year had so many injuries and so many players in and out of lineups that the Nets team you were going to see really depended on the day you were watching. Some nights it was just Harden, some nights Kyrie and Harden, some nights Kyrie and KD, some nights Harden and KD or just Kyrie or just KD, whatever you want. And in watching a lot of the Nets in this previous season because, well, one tends to watch one of the best teams in the league with the best players quite a bit, I noticed a trend. The Nets offense always looked significantly more fluid and just better overall when it was James Harden's solo act rather than a Kevin Durant solo act. Harden, because of his impact as a playmaker on top of his ability to create an insane amount of offense for himself, was creating a good shot damn near every time down the floor with or without the offensive help. Doubling Harden is a whole lot more difficult than doubling Kevin Durant because Harden will read that shit and make the right pass every time. And this is not to suggest that KD isn't a good playmaker because he is, he just isn't a borderline generational one like James Harden is. And with how the Nets played in the Bucks series, specifically later when Kyrie got hurt and it became a Durant solo act, it was incredibly apparent how stagnant that team's offense was. KD had to go down the floor and create the shot for himself damn near every time, and because he's really, 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 really good at that, he managed to carry the ship just doing that. But in terms of running a good overall team offense, it was just non-existent. It was a carry job, a solo act, rather than one player elevating his team. And ultimately to me, that was the main reason why Durant was incapable of carrying his team in the series as close as he did get. Now, that's perfectly fine. Kevin Durant did take the team further than I thought he could, and this is not a criticism really, but again, splitting hairs. But from the way the offense looked when KD was the man in charge versus when it's Harden from last year, I can't help but feel like Harden is the player truly most important to the Nets and is being the most important player, not kind of just being the best player. And by extension, if Harden is the better of the two players, that means that Durant can't be the best player in the NBA because either that means Harden is or because while I'll probably do a Harden episode in this series, I'm relatively confident that a healthy LeBron James, Giannis and Steph Curry are better than Harden. That would mean that Kevin Durant isn't better than those guys either. Now I'm actually not like, that confident in the Harden over Kevin Durant take, but the fact that I am even at a point where I would probably lean that direction says quite a bit about how I think Kevin Durant just gets slotted in at this number one spot without much thought. You could ask me a week from now though, and I might just say that Kevin Durant is better. While I don't think Durant could anchor an overall really good team offense, I also don't think Harden could do some of the shit that Durant did in that series, especially this shot. Durant is definitely a significantly better play finisher, a significantly better off-ball scorer, a significantly better mid-range shooter, and I could very well just be confusing carry ability for overall 
overall ability with this take, which frustrates me when other people do it so I can understand that point of view. But really, I think I just value being able to be a good offensive system as an individual, like in a non-shitty way and an, an actually productive way, like the not John Stockton way, more of the Steph Curry and Jokic, and to some extent, the Harden way. I'm pretty adamant that Steph was the best player of the Steph and KD duo because a lot of the positive that came with Durant on that team could be directly attributed to the ability that Steph gave Durant as the system. It was Curry's system and Durant was just a part of it. Ultimately, when it comes to the, hey, I need one individual to go get a bucket for me, there is no player in the league that I'm picking over Kevin Durant. But to put it simply, there is a lot more to the game than just that. And I feel as though that is something that is left out of the conversation with Durant. It's almost just accepted that KD is some perfect player and the best player in the league without actually dissecting his game at all. In fact, I actually think people are so wrapped up in the constant off-court drama that comes with Durant, either from something he says to the media, something he tweets, Tweets, or just the fact that everybody gets on his ass because of the Warriors decision. No one actually looks at his game. They just say, yeah, Kevin Durant's really, really good, but this thing that's unrelated to his basketball ability. I also feel like guys who are just really good scorers and then their all around game is kind of whatever, get flack for that so much, except for Kevin Durant, which I don't understand. What's funny is this video is gonna be interpreted as hate by some people when uh, I actually like Kevin Durant quite a bit, more so than the average NBA fan, because I'm not salty about the Warriors decision. I was for like probably two years when it happened, but I don't care anymore. And in hindsight, I was being over dramatic because I don't know, I was fucking 16. Anyways, that is why I do not believe that Kevin Durant is the best player in the NBA. I would definitely give the title to Steph, Giannis, and a healthy, assuming he's as good as he was last time we saw him healthy, LeBron James before I give it to Kevin Durant. But again, uh, it's splitting hairs and I think the difference between whoever I would pick for one is like 5% them versus Kevin Durant. So yeah, uh, shout out to Rudy for editing this video, but at the end of this video, please be sure to like and subscribe for NBA content like this and keep the music. <laughs>